quit till the fight's done. Ooh, I got you me. in my sights. Where is this person? Good job, good job. Nice tranquility, nice. That's right, Eric. Nice. I'm back up to gold again. I'm exactly at my season high, 1870. Hey everybody, it's Compton EMT, and welcome back to Silver Old Fart, the series where I give you the perspective and opinion from a lower ranked player. So as always, we're going to go over where I'm currently standing. So I did play some on Thanksgiving. Sadly, those games, since I was playing them on my parents' computer, are not recorded and are not going to make it to the gameplay channel. But as you saw in the intro, you probably saw I finished it 1870 as of last night from when I'm recording this. So actually on my Thursday stream, and that's actually my season high so far. You know, and it's weird because initially I went one and six on Sunday night. Was they were all really good games. It was we were like four, five, and six stacking really good games. We just couldn't finish them out. So then on Tuesday night and on Thursday night, I just grinded away with 14 and seven and caught up to 1870. So guys, I'm 130 points away from that gold and we're gonna get there this season. All right, on to the big topic. The big topic I wanna talk about is because next week, most likely, we're gonna be seeing the winter event. So it's probably going to be very similar to last year, kind of like the summer event was. But last year, we got a bunch of skins. You know, we got a Yeti skin for Winston. We got an Elf skin for Tracer. Torbjorn got his Santa Claus skin. A bunch of cool skins. And it's one of those things that, judging by the way the summer event is gone and the Zarya totally 80s Halloween skin... I'd expect to see a little more like outlandish skins this year. You know, we didn't get any outlandish skins in the first summer event. Didn't really get any of this first Halloween event. But for both of those, we got some outlandish skins. So I'm really expecting to kind of maybe see like, you know, Reaver's Lumiere or something from Beauty and the Beast. That would be interesting. But yeah, besides that, the event last year was the... Uh, the snowball fight so the snowball offensive may snowball offensive and it's the first time we kind of saw like a death match map in eco point antarctica so if things go like i've said with many other things so far like the summer event went we probably won't see a new game mode but what we will see might just be ranked snowball offensive which would be interesting. The thing about Snowball Offensive, it really reminded me of like the old school days in 64 playing Golden Gun on GoldenEye. And it's just one shot kill. So if you didn't get to see it last year, there should be a little bit of gameplay I'm going to show right now to actually show you what it's like. But it's really fun game mode, though it does get old rather quick. And I would expect that we'd see a ranked version this time if Blizzard continues doing the way things, the, the things that they've been doing. So also on top of the skins and on top of May Snowball Offensive, just like in Halloween, map changes. So some of the maps will actually change for the holiday season. They'll get snow, they'll get mistletoe, all of that fun stuff. And last year it was actually Hanamura and King's Row. So I'd expect those two maps will be coming back with their fun stuff. And just like we got a new updated map of Eichenwald that was actually, you know, Junkenstein's castle, we might get something new this year. I mean, it, it would be really interesting to see which map they choose. I think it should be Oasis because it's like in the desert and hot and stuff like that. It'd be really interesting to see snow all over Oasis, but... You know, you know, whatever map they choose, I'm sure we will love it. So the last thing is there was a leak and it looked to come from Korea. 
It might actually be true. I, I don't know. I haven't seen anything that says it's true or it's not. It's a very blurry photo, and it shows Genji in, like, a blue skin. And apparently it actually says that, you know, it's going to come out on the 12th, which actually is not too far off because I would expect it to go probably till the end of December. I was expecting the first week to go by and not have the event maybe in the second week of December get it. And guess what the second Tuesday when they usually update the game and start events is? It's the 12th. So I'd say the 12th is a pretty good uh, expectation on when this will come out. And it, if it is true, we get to see that Genji gets an ice skin where he's ice. You know, maybe he throws like um, snowflake shurikens. I, I, I really want to see him swing around Frostmourne as a Blizzard fan. That would be cool. That would be very cool. I doubt it'll happen. But we'll probably have some some sort of ice blade as well. All right, so now on to uh, smaller topics. So first, I want to talk about Overwatch League. I was planning to do a big topic on Overwatch League and just kind of opinions and stuff. But since preseason starts this upcoming week, I decided to push it back a week so I could see how they're actually going to do preseason with Overwatch League, how they're going to cast it, things like that. But on other news on that front, apparently they are at a summit this weekend for Overwatch League. All the players are. They're getting all the rules and things like that. It's kind of just a conference for the players. And one thing that's kind of come out is they have talked about some rules about streaming and queuing and pugs and stuff like that. Apparently, they're not allowed to queue with more than two Overwatch player or Overwatch League players together. And that upsets me because it's a team game and it's just stupid. You should go in with a group, a group of good players expecting to win and to work together. I don't understand why they're putting that restriction other than they just don't want pro players to walk all over normal players, which... If you want to rank up and become a pro player, why would you not want to play against teams of pro players, right? Am I right? Also, along those lines, they also said that they cannot stream pubs. So, basically, where a bunch of pro players get together, make teams, and just go at it. They are not allowed to stream those as well. Last point on that, I'll probably be cheering for the LA Gladiators. I know it's a Kronky team, but... Hey, they, they're the only team with, like, purple, and Grace wants to root for them, too. So we're going with the Gladiators. There's also the LA Valiant, which is our other choice. They had green and yellow. I don't like yellow. I love green, as you can obviously tell, but I don't really like yellow. But, yeah, we'll be rooting for the Glads. And, yeah, they, they play next week. Another small point I want to talk about is something that has been talked about a lot by other YouTubers and stuff this week obviously bigger youtubers than me but it's the whole idea that everybody hates ranked blah 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 ranked sucks this that levers throwers trolls blah 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 one stack or one, one stacks one tricks like five one of the same one trick on one team and you know what season seven for me has been the most enjoyable season for me and that's probably because 80% of my games I've played in a four stack or higher. So there's less of a chance for me to get all of that stupid stuff. And it's been really freaking enjoyable. So for me, I don't understand you know, what, what they're getting at. Other than the majority of them only play solo queue. So there's, there's that big difference between them and I. Is that they have five chances to get somebody bad I only have like two or one most of the time so that is really one of the big things I know I talked about in a previous episode but grouping up will make it much more enjoyable even that night I went one and six the games were still enjoyable even though I lost over 100 SR they were still enjoyable alright moving on to the PTR stuff my last small point so, Doomfist. Doomfist is getting a bunch of changes after a big, long Reddit post. Uh, if you want to see stuff on that Reddit post or the changes that Doomfist is getting in depth, there's plenty of other bigger YouTubers who probably will go over it a lot better than I ever could out there. 
But a couple of the main things here is his punches getting changed a bit. They're working on the ghost punching and they're setting the angle that you have to hit a wall maximum at 45 degrees. I know a lot of people apparently complained that you'd hit him into a wall and they just slide. I can go get clips for you guys of me being punched through a doorway and I hit the doorway like it's a wall, even though I should just fly through it and I die. I've been hit like at a very slight angle and somehow it says I slammed against the wall and I died. So for me, if it really is a 45 degree angle, that's going to help me because I was getting out killed outrageously compared to what other people were saying where it just didn't work. I, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, besides that, they have a couple of things to seismic slam, blah, 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 which actually gave a change to Winston as well, where he'll glide upstairs a little bit. But moving on to Mercy, there are a couple of things that came out. So now you have to be facing her or facing your target in order to res. And if you get interrupted or you turn away, you do not go on cooldown at that point. Overall, I'd say that's a huge buff as getting that 30 second cooldown with actually not getting a res at the same time was a big, big kind of nerf to her initially, but she's getting that back. So, and lastly, with the PTR stuff, Blizzard World, it's been said, is probably going to come out at the beginning of 2018. So, I'd actually assume probably that first week or so after the winter event goes offline, we'll get Blizzard World on live servers. We'll get all of the new skins and stuff that they're putting in the basic loot boxes. And I really need that butcher skin. So I have to wait one more month as I'm recording this on the first, a little more than a month probably, in order to get my butcher skin. But I cannot wait for it. So yeah, guys, that's, that's basically the PTR stuff. All right, so that's it for this episode of Ranked Old Fart, this time in silver. But the goal is still there, just kind of out of our reach just right now. We're 130 points away from gold. I plan in the next month, as there should be another month to the season, to get to that gold for you guys so we can have gold old fart instead of silver old fart. This whole season so far has been silver old fart. Let's get to gold, right? Let's get to gold. Let's keep moving up. All right, so the Sunday after this, which is going out on Saturday, so tomorrow, will be a Jackbox Sunday. Remember, guys, first and third Sunday on my stream, if there's a fifth Sunday, we do fifth Sunday as well, is a Jackbox Sunday. So definitely come jump in. I start at 8 p.m. Pacific time. Come play some Jackbox. You don't need to own the game. I stream the game. You guys use your phone or a browser window to actually play along. All right. And remember, guys, all of the game, the ranked games I play will go up on the gameplay channel. Sadly, once again, none of the Thanksgiving games because I was on my parents' computer and I wasn't recording to their computer. But yeah, all of the ranked games, Jackbox Sunday games, any interesting extra gameplay stuff like my... Uh, my let's play videos that you should guys should probably go check out i do two with my daughters i do one by myself they're they're wonderful they're wonderful guys but yeah check out my other videos uh twitch affiliate i if you have twitch prime go ahead and give me your sub and then uh like sub and click that bell in order to get notifications anytime i put a video out on my main youtube channel also guys you know I'd like to grow the channel a little bit more, so if you could, there is a share button. Go ahead and click that share. Share it to Twitter. Share it to Facebook. Go ahead and share it to email. Drop it in an IM to somebody. Get people watching, because I would love to grow this channel and do more for you guys. But I need my fans to help. My few and wonderful original fans to help. I love you guys. I want to do more for you. Let's get more people in here watching. Anyways, guys... On the screen right now is the last week of Old Fart, as well as another video interesting to you and the sub buttons for both this channel and the gameplay channel. Have a good week. We'll talk about Overwatch League next week. Peace.